Wow, this looks cool from the inside. Hi guys, and welcome back to the next episode of Afterlife SMP. So, on today's episode, we are decorating the lake. Now, I had an idea hit me like a train and I decided to collect some blocks because one of the first things I want to build is a pineapple. I don't think I need to give you the reference and if I do, I can't help you. So I have a bunch of yellow concrete and some green wool and I'm just gonna wing it. I have absolutely zero idea on what this is gonna look like. I'm just thinking I make sort of a cylinder shape and round it off was kind of the hope. And I think location wise, I think over here would be quite good. Honestly, something like this, it's not gonna look good. I never said it was gonna look good. I just wanted the gimmick. Does it kind of look like a lemon? Yes. You know, I think it works. I think it gives off the same vibe, or at least that's why I'm telling myself. And for now, I'm going to move on to the coral because that's stuff I can't really mess up. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is just sort of pop down a few lines of where this is all going to go and then we go from there. Okay, there we go. This is like all of the lines I kind of have around. So what I'm now going to do is attempt to sort of just randomly fork off the coral in ways like this just to give off like some sort of randomness and organicness that like the normal coral would spawn in with. Just kind of keeping like different variations and shapes of them all so that they kind of spread out a little bit but also are totally random and unique. It's actually more difficult and kind of tedious than I thought it was going to be but I'm sure the lasting effect will be very cool. Okay that is the sort of coral structures all done and fleshed out and I have a bunch of spare coral that we can kind of go in and add more in but for now we're going to grab all of the coral plants, the sea pickles and also the sea lanterns and sort of place those about. For the sea lanterns I'm just going to sort of go around and sort of replace random blocks in the walls with them. I'm obviously not needing to worry too much about things like mob spawning because they don't spawn underwater. That is the sea lanterns in. So now with the coral I'm kind of just going to dot it all around like some on the coral things some just on the floor and just sort of spread this about and then we're going to need to get a bunch of bone meal and bone meal a bunch of seagrass to add some other colour. I am also kind of wanting to focus more of the stuff kind of on this upper area where you're going to see it from the tunnel. Because while it's good to spread out evenly, I don't have that much coral and I want to make sure I'm getting my money's worth. It's like Disneyland don't decorate the back plots that only the staff see. Okay, this is what we're working with. Now it's actually very pretty so far. I'm enjoying the sort of like ambience, but we do need more sea creatures in it, I think to sort of add more life. So we're gonna go up and grab the anvil and name some of her fish. So I'm gonna name this guy Elvis, Brownie, Sheldon, Sherry, and Tina. And now, we go down and release them and see what happens. So Tina, you can go here, you enjoy, and also Sheldon and Sherry. And then I will release Elvis and Brownie over here. I'm pretty sure you were different colors when I picked you up, but sure, sure. Now I need bone meal. So now I'm just gonna sort of have a swim about and just absolutely spam bone meal everywhere. Voila! This looks amazing! Honestly the grass adds so much just like adding that pop of green and sort of breaking up all of the grey that you usually have down here really helps make a difference. And the pets are having a good little swim about and none of them have murdered each other so far. Ah this is amazing. Okay so the next thing I need to do is get more fish because I love my group that I have but with there only being like 
five of them. It feels quite sparse. It does. So let's run inside and grab the other buckets we have because we have 15. So this is 20 buckets in total that I should be able to get fish for. And now that we know there's really cool fish, we'll be sorted. Again, no evil jellyfish, only cute fun fish. I'm probably gonna have to start heading back towards where that coral reef was. I will also grab another Nautilus now that I can, but I'll probably start heading towards the coral reef because that was where there was a bunch of cool fish. Okay, here we are. And what are you? Oh, no, you're like a barracuda. You're evil, evil fish. Yeah, I don't like you. You scare me. Can I get an octopus in a bucket? No, it does not appear so. But there's another Nautilus. I also really want like the flying fish because they were cool. And again, more Nautilus. Just always Nautilus. I'll also take some of these eels because you don't hurt me apparently. So that's great. Oh, <gasps> flying fish. Yoink and yoink. I don't really need the vanilla tropical fish when there's all these cool ones. You know, I can get vanilla tropical fish on any series. What I can't get is eels, flying fish, and nautilus. More flying fish. Yay. I would love one of the octopuses, mainly because they're like kind of creepy, but I think that would work. But I don't think I can get them home. So unless someone else becomes a vampire and I can use their services, it's not going to happen. Now, I think for the last thing, I want some fun eels because I have a lot of these and a lot of Nautiluses, so eels are on my list. Is that... Oh, look at the sand octopus things that look like sand. They're and that's a hammerhead shark? Whoa! Aha. And lastly, another eel. And we're done! Now I need to go seven K blocks back home again. This is slow. It also looks like I'm kind of in space. Okay, now becomes the speed naming part. I'm just going to throw random fish in and just do random names. Just completely unhinged. Azula, Tang, Marlo, Erica, Dora, Melon, Maggie, Bart. I am also currently dying, so I need to quickly jump in my hole and I can continue this. Okay, no longer dying, let's go back. Luna, Barney, Meadow, Magic, Katara, Elmo, Breezy, Phantom, Danny, Magnus, and finally, Yellow Jacket. And now I run, because I'm currently suffocating. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, finally. And now I can just go in and release all of my new pets. <laughs> And there we go. It's now done. It's finally done. I want to go up and go through the tunnel just to see what it looks like. Wow. This looks cool from the inside. And like you can see the different animals. Look. There's so many of them. All just floating about. Oh, it goes over. Holy heck. That was sick. Oh my goodness, it's doing little tricks. I love you. Well. There we have it. If you enjoyed today's episode of Afterlife, please remember to leave a like. Comment down below what other things you want to see me build. What do you think of the underwater lake exhibit slash home? Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you do not miss a video. And I will see you all next time. Bye.